Hey everyone, welcome to Pokemon Ruby. Hi, Pokemon Chance. We are at the gym. At the gym of Mobile City. Let's get ready to face on the third. The third gym of this game. The first one was a rock type, the second a fighting. And this one is an electric one. This will not be that hard since I have my mass dump with mud shot and mud slap. This will be a pretty easy a pretty easy gym. Since I have these two ground moves. Let's talk about So it seems like this gym is based on puzzles. Like the third one from Kanto. But this puzzles is actually more easier than the ones from Fire Red and Leaf Green because that ones are a pain in the ass. That ones ba are based on luck, this one is not that based on luck. It's more based on strategy, if you know what I mean. Not entirely strategy, you just need to click this sponges I guess is that the name of that thingies or buttons I'm not sure if that it's sponge or a button whatever okay we are ready on the last trainer let's just mud slap his ass and I'm almost level 27 and there we go level 27 okay we are now ready to face the gym. I have two rare candies thanks to my Linoon. He has another item. Let's see what's that item. And it's a super potion. Outstanding. Okay, time to face on the gym leader. I've given up of my plans to convert the city. And so I put my time into making door traps in my gym. Oh, now what are you doing here? What's that? You say you haven't got past all my regretting doors? Mwahaha! <laughs> now, that is amazing! Then I, Watson, the leader of Mobile Gym, shall electrify you! I didn't really make the ascent for, old, for this old man, but whatever. Watson was, would like to battle, he will start with a Magnemite, level 22, it's a electric and steel type so my ground move will be four times effective and that may give me the win and it gave it first first one down nothing really special next one will be Voltorb it's another electric type at level 20 this is more easier than the Magnemite so if you're having a I can boost can you shall use double kicks or embers to kill them but if we have a Grovile, you will have some difficulties. As I had on Sapphire, I had to cut uh, my Aquita. Anyway, here's the final Pokemon. It's a Magneton, level 23, Electric and Steel type. My match shot will be 4 times effective, so I guess I can defeat him with one move. And I did it. That was a pretty gym. Pretty easy gym, level 28. We defeated the gym leader. Fine, I lost. You ended up giving me a trill. Take this badge. Jada reviewed the dynamo badge from Watson. With the dynamo badge, Pokemon can use Rock Smash outside of battle, and it will make your Pokemon a little bit faster too. Hmm, you should take this too. We obtained the DM34, that's Shockwave. Pretty decent move actually. Now that we done that, let's get out of this gym. I guess I already have uh, the rock smash. Yeah, I already have the rock smash. Now we need to teach rock smash to one of our Pokemons. I don't want really to teach that to Linoon. Uh, I don't want to teach it to Massam either, so I may get uh, a new member. 
Let's see what Pokemon can we find on this route. And we find this bug type. Let's just run away. Come on, where's the bug? Where's the a decent one? Let's speed up. Okay, we got a a zigzagoon. Let's just get it. Catch a zigzagoon and make it our slave. I know I said the first zigzagoon will be a slave, but then I made it a team member. But this one will not be the same. This one will be really a slave. Uh, let's teach it rock smash. And uh, there's no need to me to ta to teach it cut because Zainun already has cuts. Maybe in the later in the game I may teach that to him, but now it's fine. Anyway. Here's the max adder, let's see what else can we do here, um, um, there's nothing really we can do, orange tangy, let's toss this and get the max adder. Now that everything's done, let's start with this, let's smash this rock so this couple can meet. Whoa! You stuttered that water block in the way. To show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like to have this a gem. We obtained the a gem 4 and that's strength. Contains strength. If a muscular Pokemon were to learn that, it will be able to move even larger borders. Amanda, now I can see you at any time. That's wonderful. Please take some rest, in my house. All right. Okay, let's smash that rock and prepare ourselves to the next step of the journey. We got three badges, and we are ready to go to the next place. If you go all the way to the to Mobile City, if you go back to Mobile City and then go north, you will reach road 111 and there you will see two rocks. You basically smash the rocks and I found a Geodude, I don't want a Geodude. And then you smash the other rock and there's a path. In this path you will continue on the journey. I will end up the episode here guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Hey everyone, welcome to Pokemon Ruby. I'm Poketch and we are at the gym at the gym of Mobile City. Let's get ready to face on the third the third gym of this game. The first one was a rock type, the second a fighting and this one is an electric one. This will not be that hard since I have my mass dump with mud shot and mud slap. This will be a pretty easy a pretty easy gym. Since I have these two ground moves. Let's talk about So it seems like this gym is based on puzzles. Like the third one from Kanto. But this puzzle is actually more easier than the ones from Fire Red and Leaf Green because that ones are a pain in the ass. That ones ba are based on luck, this one is not that based on luck. It's more based on strategy, if you know what I mean. Not entirely strategy, you just need to click this sponges I guess is that the name of that stages or buttons I'm not sure if that is sponge or a button whatever okay we are already on the last trainer let's just mud slap his ass and I'm almost level 27 and there we go level 27 